first and if you're on the end of a rope, tie a knot, hold on. And case in point, actually, I'm a first uh, generation. My father, my father, we actually immigrated because we were extremely poor. We had $5,000 for four people in the 90s here. And my dad really, like, he uh, put all his barbers. He worked like 15 hours a day to try to get something started. We were able to start something good, but unfortunately, I was able to get like, a couple better education all that he was privileged to receive. And that's case in point that, like, if the individual itself, like, just has, like, the inner drive to it, he, like, wants to get it out of the circumstances. I think that's the key to see Florida like government really out. And congratulations, that's a great story. Yeah. It's like drums and keyboards and they kind of just, I don't know, the theatrical drama or whatever. They don't, I think they're done now. But that's she's awesome. kind of a big deal, like signing the artist. That's so. awesome. Yeah, I'm surprised I missed it. Well, I think Occupy Wall Street gets, gets the big names. Yeah. But the wildebeest is here, so it's big enough. I'm a fan of uh, Mutual Milk Hotel. What one? Mutual Milk Hotel. Never heard of it. It's this band, yeah. It's like, he was out in like the late 90s and then just disappeared. And See, that's, he, he showed up at Austin by Wall Street. That's the beauty of uh, coming here. You never know, you know other people's taste and stuff. Steve, you're coming too? They're going to cook. What's that? They're going to cook. Uh, they asked me to do that yesterday, and I was like, yeah. I'll do a lot of other stuff, but I won't cook. Where are they cooking? I go to a church. Really? They let us go over there? Uh, sometimes. It's awesome. But also, one thing, like, if you're, like, a female in the working world, because I don't want to go to business when I'm in college, like, it's even harder for you to get in. So if you already have, like, the race floor class, and, I mean, the race, Thing and then the German thing, like, what's even harder? Don't yeah, be discouraged I mean, by Yeah, that. don't I be mean, discouraged. I mean, there's always going to be, like, one college here, another. Really, <laughs> between the first college and the, like, 500th college, there's really, like, the amount of information, the b basic information you learn, it's, like, pretty much, like, you get the basic stuff in, like, pretty much every business class that you take. It's the, ultimately, it's what, like, the individual makes you like. There's going to be one thing here or there that you will get into. And I'm sure once you start there, just, do everything you best hand up there. That's awesome. With the learning your surrounding environment. Ow! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, this is so awesome. It's all up to like that right now, and it's up to the individual reaches out to people like me and I'm actually freshman year um, when we started school. Um, we really did not know much about what we want to do in college. So we reached out. We were able to seek advice outside, and we were able to get some opportunities like here at Federal Reserve. See if you like, if you have the inner drive within like the individual mindset. Um, I just want to ask you a couple of questions about, about how it's going. How long have you been up here? Wow, I'm not too good at calendars. That's like October. Were you here for the big snowstorm? Lucky though, because we have been here stuck in the snow. So the first, I just want to ask you, what do you feel like you guys have accomplished so far since uh, Columbus? Uh, well, I think they're a lot more organized now. The no matter where you are, you're always going to find a way to make it there. Because I mean, because you want to succeed. It's about wanting to succeed, not having like taking it granted, like having people come to you for success. There's a difference in that, and really, you can. If you, as long as you reach out for help. And realize too, you're asking the right questions already. You ask great you, questions. You have aspirations and such. That puts you ahead of half people right off the bat.
you're that, coming so. down here, you're yeah. seeing what it's about. The fact that you're, you guys are all willing to come down here and check this out and see what it's about, that's a great step in the right direction. You can see where it gives you a different, you got a different perspective just by looking at this, right? You can see where the environment is, like the difference between the people dressed in suits like us versus the people in the tents in there. You can tell the difference, right? Like, instead of begging for help, if you just go out, ask for help, and do it, like, not the inner self, I think you guys, you guys are all on the right path right now. Definitely. So, do you, are you saying you feel like these guys are begging for help? Is that... I think the overall, I think or this whole movement, I, I'm not, I, they are raising awareness, but I think the overall movement, because it's spread across the whole country, there was actually something that 